Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through the similarities and differences between evaporation and boiling. Now take a look at it. Matter or matter exists in three states. Solid, liquid and gas. Matter can change from liquid to gas boiling or vaporization when you heat liquid as it begins to boil it begins to form vapors and it evaporates so now what is boiling and what is evaporation what is their similarities and what is their differences they are both physical changes yes in the sense that in boiling, no new substance is formed. In evaporation, no new substance is formed. If you are boiling water, the water doesn't change from water to kerosene. It doesn't change from water to beans. It doesn't change from water to fish. So, no new substance is formed. Now, look at boiling. This is water. It's boiling. You put water in your kettle, you see it begins to boom, it begins to boil. That implies that the saturated vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. When water is boiling, that stuff you see that goes up is evaporation. Now, if you are boiling water in your kettle and it's opened, you put your hand on top. The vapor enters your hand. Now, turn it. After some minutes or seconds, you discover that it condenses if you change back to liquid. So in that case, vapor has changed to liquid. So that's, it has reversed. So that is physical changes. So no new substance is formed. But evaporation and boiling, they lead to change in state. Yes, while boiling, the water or the liquid changes from that liquid form to vapor, right? Now, even evaporation also causes change of state from liquid to vapor. So in both changes, liquid is being converted to vapor. Now, what are the differences between them? Boiling occurs at a particular temperature called boiling point. Boiling point of a substance is the temperature at which that substance begins to boil. For example, water is liquid and the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So at 100 degrees, water begins to boil. That means 100 degrees Celsius is the boiling point of water. Now, boiling point or definite boiling point is the characteristics of pure substances. So every pure substance has their boiling point. So that is the temperature at which they begin to boil. Meanwhile, evaporation does not have a particular temperature. Evaporation can occur in any temperature. For example, once you heat water, it begins to boil. Then you see it begins to form vapor, which evaporates, right? Now, temperature is high. Have you gone to the river, maybe in the morning, you see vapors begin to form, they go up. So, there is cold, evaporation is taking place, the acid, evaporation is taking place. Now, evaporation is slow, then no bubble is formed. And surface makes it pass. Look at this. Evaporation is a slow process. It occurs slowly, but boiling takes place rapidly. You see, it begins, what up, uh, the liquid begins to boil and begins to form bubble. You see, it begins to jump. <laughs> you, know, you understand what I'm saying, right? So now, boiling leads to formation of bubble. It begins to form bubble, but evaporation, no bubble is formed. Therefore, evaporation, the larger the surface, the more evaporation can take place. But surface won't affect boiling, so long the temperature is there. Now, for boiling also, temperature is constant. You need to keep temperature constant for boiling to continue. Once you drop the temperature below the boiling point, boiling may stop. So, you see? So that's the difference between evaporation and boiling and their similarities as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.